Hello, my name is Stephen Moody and I'm the Education Director for The Weller Company and on Instagram, my name is Hair Moody. I am so thrilled to be asked to speak to you today on the commencement of your graduation and a massive, massive congratulations to you on graduating from International Institute of Cosmetology. And um, I wanted to spend a few minutes and just share with you what a great achievement that is. If you could do me a huge favor, if you could put your hand up like that, and then you could just kind of reach around like that and tap yourselves on the back. You people have done a great thing. You've graduated from school in some very trying times, a very extraordinary year. The good news is you're graduating at a great time because everybody that I speak to globally, they're in need of staff. They're in need of hairdressers. They're in need of nail technicians. They're in need of people that are gonna deliver beauty services. And you're very well placed to do that. You've graduated from an amazing school. So well done and congratulations. So a little bit about an advice, some advice, some ideas, some thoughts from me that you might want to think about in moving away from cosmetology school and moving into the big wide world. I did this many, many years ago and um, I kind of thought to myself when I was asked to do this commencement speech, I thought to myself, oh my goodness, what am I going to say? And um, I think some of the things to really think about is to think big, to dream big, to think beyond where you are now. Obviously, you're just about to go and take your state board exam. You're about to get licensed and you're looking for opportunities to work in the industry. And think broad, think big, you know. I think one of the most valuable things that I did in your position is I traveled. I was born and raised in a very small town, not even a town, a village in the north of England. And um, I went to London and I broke away from my small town environment and I went to the big city, probably the biggest hairdressing city in the world. And it was a little bit scary. It was a little bit intimidating, but I wanted to try it. And if all failed, no one could accuse me of not trying. So that might be something to think about. You know, think about what's in your greater environment rather than what's right in front of your nose. Another thing that I would seriously consider is just remember that you've been on a journey of getting your hours and getting your license to be a cosmetologist or nail technician or whatever you've done. That's the first step in an educational journey the first step. Your career in beauty, in hair, in nails, education is never ending. Last year, I celebrated 40 years in this business and I'm still learning. I'm still interested in things that are gonna elevate me, that are gonna take me to a place that maybe scares me. Do something every day that scares you. It's a good thing. But yeah, think about education as ongoing. It's never, ever ending. And don't be afraid to invest in yourself, whether that's education or for example, competing in competitions. That's a great way to elevate you, the person. Any competition, it doesn't matter. There's lots of hair competitions. There's lots of nail competitions. Check them out because that stretches you. That forces you to meet people 
interact with people that perhaps you wouldn't ordinarily do so. Whether that's a model or a makeup artist or a photographer or a mentor, do it. Stretch yourself. It really grows who you are. The last thing I want to talk about is something that you might want to consider. And again, this is not for everybody, but this was my approach. My whole 40 year career, I really wanted to be a small cog in a big wheel. What does that mean? A small cog in a big wheel. I wanted to work with people. I didn't want to work independently. So for me, working in a hair salon and having colleagues, having mentors, having a manager, having a creative director was very important to me. I didn't want to work alone. So not working alone, being a small cog in a big wheel, that might be part of aligning with a manufacturer. In this case, voila, um, Intercofewer. Um, online communities, basically places that you can draw from for your answers, your inspiration, your creativity, your motivation. And most importantly of all, don't feel afraid to reach out. Sometimes you need assistance. Sometimes you need support. And the wonderful thing about the beauty industry is you can reach out for support. So be part of something bigger. Again, congratulations. Well done on graduating from the International Institute of Cosmetology. You've made a great investment in yourself. Go out there and go get them. Well done.